Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation for integer solutions. We have b squared minus 4ac equals 23, and a, b, c are all integers. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this equation. Now, this equation should look familiar to you because I kind of modified the original problem a little bit. The originally, it's asking for the discriminant of a quadratic equation. As you know, if you do have a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, you know that its discriminant, which is also known as delta, can be written as b squared minus 4ac. So our question here is, is there a quadratic equation with integer coefficients whose discriminant is 23? So we're gonna to try to answer that question, and then at the end, we're gonna know if the, such quadratic equations exist. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this equation b squared minus 4ac equals 23. Okay, now, here's what we're going to look at. You know, if you're solving equations with integer solutions, also known as Diophantine equations, parity plays an important role. What does parity mean? Parity be means that uh, if a number is odd or even. So that's one of the things that we use in number theory. So if you look at this equation carefully, you're going to notice that 4 times ac is a multiple of 4, Therefore, it's always even. So this is an even number. Now, we also know that b squared minus an even number is 23, which is an odd number. So when do you get an odd number? If you subtract an even number from another number, that number also needs to be odd. So in other words, odd minus even is equal to odd. Otherwise, if you subtract even number from an even number, the difference is also even. And you can easily prove this. That's very easy to prove. Now. What, is that mean? what does that mean for b squared to be odd? If b squared is odd, this basically implies that b is odd, right? Simple. Because if a number is not odd, like even, its square cannot be odd either. So we can prove by, you know, contradiction that this is impossible. Okay. So b needs to be odd as well, and that implies a very important result. And this is actually the breaking point for this problem. So since b is odd, I can replace b with... 2n plus 1, where n is an integer. So n is an integer, 2n plus 1 represents an odd number. And we're going to substitute this. As you know, substitu substitution is a very important rule. It plays a very important role in solving very many problems. Okay, let's take a look. So I'm going to replace b with 2n plus 1 here. That gives me 2n plus 1 quantity squared minus 4ac equals 23. And again, n is an integer, a is an integer, c is an integer. So here, everything, every, every variable represents an integer. Let's go ahead and expand 2n plus 1. It is 4n squared plus 4n plus 1 minus 4ac equals 23. Now, it will be meaningful to subtract 1 from both sides so that we can have a number on the other side and all the variables on the left-hand side. Great. And this gives us 22. Now, this is super duper important from a number theory perspective, because if you look at the left-hand side, you can factor the 4 out. And what is that supposed to mean? It means that the expression on the left-hand side is a multiple of 4, which means that this expression on the left-hand side is divisible by 4. So our conclusion here is 4 times the quantity n squared plus n minus ac is divisible by 4 because it is a multiple of 4. Makes sense, right? However, however, 22 is not divisible by 4, as we well know, right? Because 24 is a multiple of 4, 20 is a multiple of 4, 22 is in between, it's not divisible by 4. So you get a remainder when you divide 22 by 4, obviously. What is that supposed to mean? It means that, hence, we can write it in mathematical words. It's a very mathematical word, right? There are no integer solutions. Why? Because you got an equation where the left-hand side is divisible by 4, but the right-hand side is not divisible by 4, and this is impossible. Therefore, we have no quadratic equation, no quadratic equation, with integer coefficients, with integer coefficients, oopsies, kind of messed up on the word, 
having 23 as its discriminant, which is delta, right? And that is going to be our conclusion. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.